good good afternoon so I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous about this one like I feel like um, this is like please please stop me if I start sounding like like crazy like a beautiful mind crazy okay like if 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 I just sound like mad scientists like Rick and Morty crazy like high five me and 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 like you know keep me going hey hey Andy um, so here, here it goes here it goes so this is kind of this 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 kind of formula that's been kind of um, it just it won't stop in my head so I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you and I'm gonna kind of explain it to you and I'm like I've failed algebra one like three times I'm not good at algebra um, so I don't know if this makes sense um, and I kind of modeled, modeled this off of uh, MC squared so I don't know if like this even makes sense, but and, and what I'm trying to describe doesn't exactly, it's not necessarily quantifiable in a format that we could even, we would even understand as numbers. So, so this is, I'm just kind of gonna break this down. So what I'm trying to say here is reality equals perception divided by perspective um, to the 10th power. And the reason I'm using that is because um, I'm trying to consider um, uh, quasi-crystalline dynamics and stuff and how like our percept, what I'm trying to say is our perception of reality is, is just a simulation. It's an approximation of what reality actually is. Um, and then that, that whole thing is divided by X and I'll, and I'll get to what X is. Um, uh, and, 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 uh, it's just gonna, it's gonna, kind of, kind of go through this. So reality, right? Reality equals zero, right? It's, um, that's kind of, I'm kind of going with that. Like everything, like it's, it's zero. That's reality. There's no, there's no skew. There's no bias. So reality equals zero. All right. And so our perspective, um, equals reality divided by our perception uh and then we're putting that into um like a if you were if so if we were to observe reality from outside of reality um this would this uh so when i'd start uh you know what i mean like if it was a three if i if i was just gonna if the, if the model of of this um explanation of, of reality and our relationship to it is uh if, if, if I wanted to make that three-dimensional and just consider, uh, um, you know, uh, the, 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 you know, and N X Y, you know, uh, uh, time and space uh, that will just volume, uh, not just volume. It's a good thing. These things are freaking live, right? All right. So the, uh, I'm not even sure about this and this, I'm just basing that off of, um, Right now, that's just kind of where they're at with those theories, as far as uh, um, quasi-crystalline kind of theories. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please Google it. I've been watching a lot of those videos lately, um, and just I, I I I I love hearing about that. I, I can go all day hearing about that. All right, so that's our that's where that's our perspective, and then our perception, as I was saying earlier, um, as I first introduced you to this equation, was. Uh, our perception is a simulation. It's just like the closest approximation that we can make, you know, we can make out of it, out of, out of, out of all the stimulus, you know what I mean? So like, you know, I'm, and it's, I'm not trying to say that we're in Grand Theft Auto 5 and this is all fake. I'm not saying we live in a giant computer simulation. I'm saying that our perception of the, of the universe is, just an approximation. So like when I when I look and I see this door, um, really I'm just some uh, photons are hitting some cones in my eyes and it's sending some electricity to some squishy stuff in my skull and I see this door that I'm looking at over here. How, you know what I mean? Like how accurate is that? Um, how accurate is that? How close to, 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 to an unbiased, um, consideration of that door is my perception of it. Um, and then if you, uh, you start looking up 
those um those videos and start talking about we have um well i gotta i gotta i gotta hold on let me finish my thought and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna take questions at the end um so um where was i i just i saw some some comments and i really want to get to this and i got distracted um where was i oh it's a simulation yeah it's just uh, 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 you hear any, any videos like Neil deGrasse Tyson or anything like that? Um, talk about uh, how you start doing some math, and really you need ten dimensions to to account for what we're observing um, in the known universe. Um, uh, I'm tired. I've had a long day. All right, so x equals I don't know what that is. X is uh, x might be one, and that that's you don't even need to write that but there might be there might be something else it might be um a higher power or 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 god um or it might just be might just be one um so i'm going to take i'm going to take questions now so if round equals zero then perception must also equal zero this in this equation clearly your perception is greater than zero no no so my perception would equal zero if if my perception was equal to reality um and it's 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 not it's not my person you know uh, uh maybe maybe how many years ago and again i'm just regurgitating like some 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 uh videos about about um um quasi crystalline dynamics and stuff they start talking about removing yourself from like so the, we live in a three three dimensional world, right? Well, it's considered time, right? It's a fourth dimension. It's a coordinate. You, you know, it's, remove yourself from that, and then how does that look? If you're not in time, how do you how does time look? Um, so, I, I I have a biased perception because my perspective is only from one point at a time. I'm not omnipotent. If I was omnipotent, if I was God. Um, then perception would equal zero, but I'm, I'm, I'm not obviously, um, not God. I would have a way cooler Facebook and YouTube channel if I was indeed, um, one or more of the, the Holy Trinity. Um, uh, next question. Oh, wait, no, it's P again, because the, that must equal zero for right, equals it. So it's. My my point my point is so I, I I see what you're trying to you're trying to say you, you're 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 assuming that your perception of reality is 100% accurate, um, and that's I, I it's it's going to be hard for you to see it the way I do if you can't let go of the fact that um, you're not always right. No one's always right. No one ever sees things. You know, people thought the earth was flat. We thought the um, sun revolved around the earth. We thought uh, we were the only solar system. And um, we we thought that um, when it rained, that's worms were coming out of the rain. It rained worms at one point. That's how we perceived reality. Okay. Um, so unless unless you're just somehow um just this omnipotent uh of 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 uh entity with with flawless logic and 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 uh, uh, uh perfectly calibrated perception um your 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 v is never um gonna equal zero um and that is a very like that like that'll fuck with your ego you know what i mean and so uh i i can't remember where i heard this but but uh people people perceive reality um in a way that benefits them the most all right um because let's say for the sake of my example all of this means nothing the uh, uh it's 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 all gonna be gone there's and and let's say you don't believe you don't have a religion you don't believe in god and like once you're dead everything's gone like what's the point it doesn't mean anything that's kind of depressing you know what i mean so even if that was if that equaled reality um 
our our subconscious like the the subconscious de defense mechanisms our psyche has um wouldn't even let us perceive that because we would just all kill ourselves okay so even if that was true your subconscious would talk you out of that um um and and and, and um i'm gonna i'm gonna leave on this because this is the other the 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 like the background uh, ruminating thought of the day is uh, that, um, and this is this. I was watching a a a, a, a video and it was it was uh, Elon Musk talking and he was talking about how um, people should be afraid of artificial intelligence. Um, and so when you're when you're thinking about how smart you are, especially if you're if you are actually hyper intelligent, like like Kyle Bloom is one of the smartest people I've ever met in my entire life. Okay. So, um, and I'm making, I'm making an assumption here. If I'm, if I'm wrong, like I'm actually assuming I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm just trying to have something to talk about here. Um, let's say, um, Kyle, that you, you think you're smarter than you are. Most smart people do, um, think they're smarter than they are. They, like that's, or, or that, that's what I think. And I'm kind of I was definitely definitely influenced by um, Elon Musk and his his thoughts on on the subject. Um, but when you when you when you try to say that you're smarter than someone else that's really smart, like it 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 like messes with them. Like that's their identity. Like that's their value. Like their intelligence is what makes them valuable and then what makes them feel good about themselves. And when you threaten that. Um, those those subconscious defense mechanisms start start kicking in. Um, so I feel like I'm definitely so and it's and it's a range too. And it's um, definitely if you if you have no idea what I'm talking about, look up Dunning Kruger effect and the reverse Dunning Kruger effect. Um, and and I, 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 I when 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 I think about the way I feel about my own intellect, I, I kind of range. I kind of I, I kind of have like a, a range between. Um, the Dunning-Kruger effect, where I think I'm I'm a, I'm a freaking idiot, and I think I'm way smarter than I am, and the reverse Dunning-Kruger effect, where I feel like I'm surrounded by idiots, and that's why I feel so dumb. And I think um, uh, reality, the reality of that matter, is going to be like a, like if you take if you made those it's a ninety degree right, and if you took those two and then made um like a thing like this it would intersect that range and actually i kind of ex my, my intellect exists somewhere in between those those two those two ranges um i'm tired i'm hungover um i just had to get that i had to get it off my chest it's been bugging me um thanks for thanks for checking it out um Put down your phone and, and, and get back to work.